I'd like to welcome Brittany and her interpreter to the stage. Thank you, Brittany. with my deaf friends. I hear a lot of talking around, but I don't understand what they're saying. I'm always looking around to find what's going on, and I feel like I'm always distracted while I'm trying to concentrate and listen to what my deaf friends are saying. I hear my name, but I never know who said it. So I'm always looking around to find the voices, and that's my social life. Hi, my name is Brittany Toy. This is my sign name. I'm 17 years old. I was born on 3rd of December, 1999. I've lived with my father and stepmother for 11 years. I have two sisters, one half-sister and four half-brothers. My whole family is hearing. I'm the only one that's deaf. My parents were separated when I was three and my parents found out that I was deaf when I was three. My parents knew before that, but the doctors didn't believe them. I'm in year 11 at Belmont City College, or BCC for short. I'm the first deaf student counsellor at Belmont City College, and I'm proud to represent all my deaf students and show them a good role model and show them that I'm participating. I'm full-time mainstream at school. It's great that I have access and that interpreters are provided. I'm happy to have both deaf friends and hearing friends at school. And sometimes I teach my hearing friends to use Auslan, but sometimes I use my voice and speak with them as well. My family are always encouraging me to be independent. Like when my parents go out, I have to look after my younger brothers and sisters at home. Sometimes I do feel left out of my family, when, like when we go to a restaurant and they're having a conversation and I'm never involved in the conversation because I'm behind and I've missed what everybody has said. So I'm always quiet within my family. I have no interpreters provided at my sport training for football and netball. My football coach helps me a lot during training with one-on-one -on -one time and she uses gesture when we're playing a game. I like sport with the mainstream class. Really, I don't care and it's not embarrassing when I'm the only deaf person I play anyway. When I go to McDonald's or other fast food, I type on my phone what I want to order and I show it to the hearing person behind the counter because that's easier for me than trying to point at the board and they always get confused, so that helps me to communicate with them and use my phone. I use text messaging, FaceTime, Snapchat, Facebook Messenger and Glide because these ones are the most clear way to have a conversation with friends. On social media, when my friends message me, sometimes it can start arguments and start problems because they misunderstand what I'm trying to say because they're used to English and they, sorry, I'm used to English and they're used to Auslan. So we use video messages to make it more clear for all of us. I use the Auslan video message so it's more clear and they can understand me and there's less chance for communication breakdown. When I grow up, I want to be a sport teacher. I know it'll be hard to encourage the students to get involved in sport and it'll be difficult for me as well because I'll always need an interpreter with me. But I really enjoy teaching and I enjoy sport as well and teaching sport. I want to make new friends and I want to go to university or deaf club or anywhere I would love to make new friends. 
I'd like to travel the world, meeting new people, to experience different cultures, and to also experience other deaf cultures. My vision for my future is that I want to go to university. I want to go to a cafe with my friends. I want to smell the coffee and the bacon. I want to hear laughter and giggling. I want to see joy and smiling happy faces. And I want to see everyone using Auslan, even the hearing friends. This would make me feel so emotional and really happy. And it would be a relief for me that I finally feel comfortable. Thank you for listening and watching my presentation.